guys welcome back so in this video i'm going to discuss the second type of question which is very common and it will feature in ckad as well as cka so this is also a very low weightage question it will be a quick one uh, and this is about scheduling a pod on the master node so by default any kubernetes cluster you create it uh, the master nodes actually have a taint attached to them that's why if you schedule a pod uh, it by default goes to the worker node and you cannot schedule a pod on the master nodes right but if you put in tolerations uh, in your pod uh, yaml file uh, you would be able to actually schedule pods on the master nodes and this is uh, what this question will be about right to schedule a pod on the master node so let's quickly get started so first i'm going to do kubectl uh, describe or not describe uh, get nodes so my master node name is control plane Let's copy this and now I'll do kubectl describe node and I want to grep for taint. So this is basically the taint which is on my master node, right? So I need to copy this. We'll be using this later. Let's copy this. And we will also get kubectl uh, uh, get node control plane show labels so we would be using one label to ex basically to explicitly put a node on master node so that we uh, verify that our uh, toleration is actually working right so that would be node role, where it is, yeah, this one, the same one. So we have already copied it, okay, no worries. So now what I'm going to do, kubectl run web server hyphen hyphen image equals nginx hyphen hyphen try run equals client so if you remember i created a variable for this but this is a new cluster so i don't have that variable i mean oh yaml and i would just put it to pod dot yaml we'll open our pod dot yaml and we'll get rid of things which we don't need creation time we don't need leave the label as is we don't need resources all right so now we'll put toleration its tolerations so you would actually have access to the uh, documentation so you don't need to worry about uh, the syntax right tolerations effect it takes two things effect and key so effect would be no schedule which we saw schedule and key would be this just get rid of no schedule right and then to explicitly put this pod on the master node, uh, I can do a simple node selector, right? This you don't need to do, but in order to verify that your uh, tolerations are working, right? Node selector. Let's put this. Um, right, so this should be good enough. Save this. Clear the screen and kubectl apply on pod.yaml. Pod is created. Let's do kubectl get pods hyphen o wide. And you can see it's container creating, but you can see the node where it has created it. It has actually put the node, uh, the pod on the control or the master node, right? be up yeah so we have scheduled a pod on the master node and this is what the second question is all about so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving this is going to be a very interesting series and thank you for watching